This is it. What are we doing? We're leaving Ottawa. We have everything packed up. The house is clean, finally, thanks to a lot of hard work from my parents who came in and pinched it at the last minute. Thank you so much for all your help. I really appreciate it. Oh, we really appreciate it. Oops. And who's back here? Jazzy, say hi. hi. We think they're excited too, but we're not super sure. <laughs> Yay. We drove to Kingston, where my parents helped us move onto the boat. Oh. What's this? <laughs> oh my Don't be mean to Herky. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> on the bottom. Oh, little kitty. Right. You're okay, Jess. Hey, come on out. It's all right. Oh. This is your new home, guys. Wow, you're almost bigger than your cage. Gee. The cats, of course, had to sniff everything around the boat before they got their bearings. We had a snack while the cats got settled, and then we started to put our things away. A couple of days later, we decided to start the motor to see how the cats would react. Jazz didn't do so well. She wanted to hide under the blankets the whole time. Herky did great. He wasn't fussed at all, but I made sure to give him a lot of pets and cuddles to make sure he felt reassured. After warming up the engine for a few minutes, we decided to take the cats on their first journey to the gas dock to fill up our fuel and our water. This is our last morning in Canada for a while. We're just prepping the boat and then we're gonna motor off to the States. It's an early morning. And as you can tell from the tree behind us, the season is starting to change, so it's time for us to go. Today's trip is from Kingston, Ontario, down to uh, Oswego in uh, New York. We've been tracking the winds for a couple of days, so it seems like we're gonna have a good amount of winds once we get around Wolf Island. Um, right now it's very calm, which is nice for our motor out. And yeah, we'll see how we do on our timing. Hey, day one of sailing. Um, it's oh. we hit a squall, our first, our first, and survived. Uh, some engine problems. The kitties are throwing up and Diane's throwing up, but it's pretty. So we're going to stop a little bay called Henderson Bay, which is just across the, the other side of the lake. We were planning to get to Oswego today, but the weather didn't didn't listen to the forecast, so uh, the winds didn't pick up, and there was some storms. Uh, so we'll stop there for maybe a couple of days, uh, wait for the storms to clean up, and then head to Oswego. We crossed the American border, and Greg put up our U.S. courtesy flag. So we made a stop in Henderson Bay because uh, it was getting a little bit rough on the lake. The winds came in a little bit later than we thought they were going to, so we got behind on schedule. And then, yeah, to add to it all, I got sick and the kitties got sick. 
So we're here. It's nice and calm, as you can tell from behind. Plus, we get to park next to the snazzy cat. Mm -hmm. That's called Celestial Cat. Yeah, we stole someone's mooring ball, but it's because we don't understand what we're meant to do here. It doesn't look like there's any guest mooring balls, but yeah. this one was covered in zebra shells, so I don't think it's going to be missed. Yeah, and hopefully we can make it to Oswego, if not tomorrow, then the next day. It's Hecky's first time outside. Jazz, you're missing out. She's just been looking out that hatch. Due to squall and water spout warnings, we ended up staying two days in Henderson Bay. Since we were at a mooring and it was fairly calm outside, we decided to let the kitties roam around the boat a little more. Your pajamas are going to go in the next episode. They are not. They are too. You're a and this looks amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have any reception on this phone, which we were planning to use for the internet, so we're going to hoist it up the mast and see if we can get uh, get some internet with a mobile hotspot. So Dana's phone is in this waterproof pouch and we're going to hoist it up the mast uh, and see if we can get some reception. The next morning we left Henderson Bay for Oswego. Turkey had really developed a taste for going outside on the boat, so we let him out to look at the water for a while. We arrived in Oswego early Saturday afternoon and checked in with U.S. Customs. Because it was a Saturday, we had to wait until Monday to be inspected and granting our cruising permit. We are going to take out our fold-up bikes for the first time. Where are we? We're at Wade's Diner in Oswego, having an all-American breakfast. We decided to spend the day exploring Oswego's memorials, parks, and architecture. The Oswego Public Library has the distinction of being the oldest public library still in its original building in the United States. It is one of the finest Norman Revival or castellated buildings still standing. We also spent some time checking out the locks we were hoping to go through the next day and biking through downtown, where we saw some inspirational messages. Oswego promotes itself as the port city of central New York. It also has mottos such as, where the water never ends and cool by nature. What are we riding over? Autumn leaves. Where should we go? South. <laughs> Fort Ontario was one of several forts erected by the British to protect the area around the east end of Lake Ontario. The original Fort Ontario was erected in 1755 during the French and Indian War in order to bolster defenses already in place at Fort Oswego. So we're just stopping for coffee at the Coffee Connection. Apparently they have homemade cookies. And I have sticky fingers. <laughs> just wanted to show off our folding bikes. They're so awesome. And they come with um, these nice little details, like it has its own built-in bell which is really nice. Um, came with the bike rack already installed and then these little bungee cords that can kind of lift off so you can strap stuff in. They're really nice to ride. We're in a car, not a boat at the moment. 
because we met some wonderful people and they lent us a car to go pick up some provisions. So we have a whole heap of groceries in the back. Ready to be eaten. Early Monday morning, we prepared to get our mast unstepped and received a visit from the CBP for our cruising permit. We thought we did everything right, but apparently uh, I need more pieces of paper. Uh, Diane's okay because she's Canadian, but because I'm Australian, the Nexus doesn't really do anything for us, so we have to head back and get some more visas, uh, which means we have to leave the US. Um, so we'll probably head back to Kingston tonight, which is a bit disappointing, but it is what it is. We'll, uh, we'll work it out. To add insult to injury, it seemed that Katsaway didn't want to go back to Canada, and the engine started acting up. At high revs or in rough conditions, the engine would sputter and cut out, leading us to believe it was a fuel issue. I got nothing. We'll see. It's worth a shot. Nanny, this video isn't doing it justice. Can you describe the colors? There's red and yellow and orange and purple and pink and white and blue and black. It is amazing. It is an amazing sunset. While it wasn't ideal being rejected at the border, it was hard to be bitter with a beautiful sunset like this. The intent of this journey is for us to be challenged. We just didn't expect to be challenged so quickly. Check out our live map to see where we currently are, a link in the description. As of recording this, we're heading down the Erie Canal, so if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. We're new at video editing and at sailing, so if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.